Oh, didn't you know, Al? The MCU was dead. Yeah, uh-huh. It all ended after Endgame. After Endgame, all the movies were just terrible. None of them were good. Didn't you know that? Ha! <laughs> they obviously have not seen Shang-Chi. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. No spoilers, of course. We're talking Shang-Chi. Man. Everything you heard about this was true. This movie was absolutely fantastic. Some people are saying that it is the best Marvel movie that they've ever seen. And maybe they have a point because this thing is massively entertaining all the way around. But wait a minute, Dark Siders. Bear with me for a minute. I got to get nostalgic. Take a look at the white walls behind me. This is the very last video we will have on the OG Dark Side set as we will finally be moved out completely on Saturday. Well, almost completely. But there will be no more movies in this room. It started here five years ago. Just had to get nostalgic and a little bit weepy eyed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling sad. Shang-Chi, absolutely amazing. First thing I wanna say to you, Dark Siders, is do yourself a favor and make sure you go ahead and fork over the money. Don't be cheap. See this in the theaters. It's worth every bit of the big screen experience. Now, everything about this was fantastic. I almost dare to say that this thing is flawless, especially from a technical standpoint. I thought it was absolutely wonderful. The story here is good. The pacing is good. The performances are good. The cinematography is good. The sound design is good. The CGI is good. And the fight choreography, woo! Best fight choreography we've had in any Marvel movie. Yeah, that includes anything we've seen with the Captain America series. The fight choreography in this was absolutely amazing. From the choice of shots, how they shot it, it was cinematically dynamic. It was absolutely fantastic. I mean, like, like I'm geeking here. You all have to see it. And I was so impressed, Dark Siders. Thank you, Marvel, for not cheating us with the fight choreography, showing us stuff that looks like mixed martial arts. This film deserved every bit of what it gave us, which was traditional, for the most part, Chinese martial arts. And as far as I'm concerned, there is nothing more beautiful choreographically, choreography, choreographic, you know what I'm saying, Darksiders, than Chinese martial arts on screen. It is such a beautiful thing to watch. And man, this did not disappoint. It was amazing. The weapons we got to see, the scenes with the rope dart, <laughs> Man, the fight choreography for this was absolutely fantastic. But the visual appeal of this was nice as well. I was just struck by all of it. All of the production value in this that really drives the story outside of the writing of the script. But even that's very good. I feel like the story is very focused. There is a nice bit of comedy in just the right places. It does have a dramatic element as well. Everything is woven together so nicely in this. And plus we get some other MCU cameos that tie it in nicely to the rest of the MCU. It just hits on all cylinders. Hats off to all my Asian brothers and sisters because this was a predominantly Asian cast and boy, did they knock it out of the park. I'm not gonna lie, Dark Siders. Listen, when I see movies, especially MCU movies that don't have major stars in it, I get a little bit nervous because I'm not sure how it's gonna come across, but boy, oh boy, the cast was fantastic in this. And I especially loved Aquafina in this, but everybody was good in this. It was just so good on so many different levels. And let me tell you something that's really interesting, right? Now follow me here, Dark Siders, and let me see what you think about this. A lot of people have said that Marvel movies are starting to become a bit of a wash because they are very formulaic. You kind of know what the feel and tone of most Marvel movies are going to be like. That is the argument. And people are saying that they're kind of getting tired of them. Shang-Chi is an interesting film because it is an example of something that very much feels like a Marvel movie, but at the same time very much does not. And that is because of how this story is told and delivered. Now, why am I bringing that point up? My point is this. For those folks that say that Marvel movies are played out, for those folks that say that Marvel movies are so predictable now, for those folks that say that we just kind of know what we're always going to get from a Marvel movie, this is proof positive that you can have a Marvel movie that's firmly rooted within the MCU dynamic and feels like it fits, but also tells a different enough story cinematically to feel like something fresh and new. Marvel has not lost its luster. Marvel has years and years and years of storytelling left. Everything rides in falls dark side is on how you tell the story and how that story is delivered cinematically and how that story is acted or performed if those things are good then you're going to have a good story 
whether it be a superhero movie or not. So there's plenty of life left for Marvel. And I think the Shang-Chi also gives us that as a, what's the, what I want, what's the word I want, a reinforcement. I also love the fact that we have different players, different actors, different talent to see displayed on the screen as well. Now, I want to say something here that most of you all probably will think I'm crazy for even mentioning this, but I feel like you might notice it once I mention it. So when I was in school, I minored in film production. And when we did our projects, our student projects, there was something that we called cinematic transition time, or we called it shot transition time. And here's what that is. It is how long do you hold the shot before you transition to the next shot? And this is much more of an art than it is a science. But what I thought that this movie did really well, and I pay attention to this when I'm watching films, is how long they held the shot. Now, you might think to yourself, what the heck are you talking about, Al? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever watched a movie and looked, and looked at a shot of a particular scene and just wondered why the camera stayed so long on that scene. Wondered, okay, when are you gonna transition to the next shot? Or seen a shot where the camera just stayed on that shot and you felt like it was a bit long, like you could feel the amount of time that the camera kept that frame or kept that shot. And you thought to yourself, man, this is long, like it's time to transition. Shang-Chi doesn't do that. Almost every shot is perfectly transitioned at just the right time. Now, some of you all again might be thinking, hey, what is they talking about? We never noticed that. Notice that the next time you watch a film. Just pay attention to how long the camera holds the shot and notice if you feel like it's holding that shot too long. That is cinematic transition or shot transition or whatever you used to call it. And we used to always try to nail it down on our student projects. Anyway, I went geeky on you. But Shang-Chi does a good job of all of these like little technical parts of the film that make it really, really good. But the film just shines for so many different reasons. How they fit it into the MCU is absolutely fantastic. And it makes me excited for what's to come as we build out the MCU beyond Endgame. Yes, there is life in the MCU beyond Endgame. Shang-Chi is absolutely fantastic. I hope I have not spoiled it for you at all. I almost guarantee that you will enjoy this film. Dark Siders, you all are awesome. I love you so much. The last, the last video on the Dark Side set is upon us. A moment of silence, please. All right, Dark Siders, big and better things to come. We're moving out. We're moving in with my parents for a bit. We're gonna see how that goes but then we get in our new spot soon enough. All right, you guys, love you. As always, see you in the comments. Peace.